It's another day. We're heading toward Mather Pass. Yeah. We still got a lot of snow over here to go traverse. Another switchback, more snow, and an up and over. And we are starting to see people down below. Let's see if they make the same mistakes we did and go through some pretty gnarly terrain. Maybe not. We'll see. But we're going to keep going up. We got a little while. The sun's coming up already. That's not good news. But, uh, looks prettier in the camera. But, uh, we'll be over and hopefully we'll be down before the sun gets too strong. It's a near vertical wall right here. Well, not near vertical. But it looks shorter than we yeah. thought originally. It's good footprints. It's just, uh, a little more. No laughing until you're over the top. And way in the background we got Harry Potter. And we probably got like, I don't know how many more people. It's really nice. From up top we could see all the switchbacks. So we were able to guide people into not making the same mistakes we did. So they got right on and they were right up. And as we got higher, they helped people further down. I love that everyone just always helps each other out, you know. But we're up here, Mather Pass. <sighs> Forester's the easiest one so far still. Yeah. What's going on? <sighs> Nobody talks about all these other passes. She's going back. Oh. <laughs> There's a sunrise, it's 637. It's awesome getting to the top of passes by sunrise. Although it took us three hours and 37 minutes to get here. <laughs> Actually three hours. Well, look at these mountains, look at the view. And look at the valley we have to go down into. <laughs> this is amazing. Another pass down, we got two more to go before VVR. Look at the sun. Look at the yellow like lichen or something growing up on this peak. The moon up there. <sighs> Cheap sunglasses. Get further away from the edge if you're going to lean over. <laughs> I don't want you to lose your balance. <laughs> We're still up at Mather Pass. It's like a party up here now. Got three, four, got someone cooking dinner. Five, six, probably 12 people up here. <laughs> Pretty funny, but we're all happy we made it up here. They made it much quicker than we did, but. <laughs> and then now we gotta go down here into this valley somewhere, I'm guessing to the right. Look at this beautiful weather. Oh my gosh. I'm going to say Are you going to take it back with you? Yeah, get it down when I get down there. Oh, where is it going to stop? At some point. Oh man, that's still going. Oh, it's going to stop now. Oh, nope. <laughs> Holy cow. All right, I was going to glissade here, but it's all rocks. I got to get down to you a little further uh, before I can hit a soft spot and go. So I'm just doing side by side. I don't know if you can see. So here we go. Looks like a nice soft spot right here. It's not very steep. Bye-bye! Uh. <sighs> Did I drop anything? Nope. I don't see the water bottle. And now we gotta walk. Way down the hill from everyone else. They're all up there. Side, sideways dropped a bunch of stuff, so I came down the hill to get her stuff from glissading, and I noticed this water bottle. Um, she's sunglasses, found it, and tossed it to get it later. And I thought it went way down and over that ledge but it managed to stop right on that rock. Amazingly, 
and I was able to see it so I can pick it up and get it out of here. I have two water bottles now. This is what we're dealing with on the way down. There's a ton of snow. You gotta try to walk through. Some of the parts where people stepped on are compacted so it actually doesn't post hole. But we have been getting our share of post holing like usual. We're hoping we're out of the snow soon. But we keep coming across these giant patches of snow. Look at that lake over there. So beautiful. Kind of just distracted by all the slipping and sliding now. <laughs> Check out this lake to the left of us. We're just hiking along like nothing's unusual. Trying to avoid all these puddles and whatnot. And look at that. Oh my gosh. Lakes are so beautiful when they're partially frozen like that. You know, big slabs of ice floating around. Look at that waterfall right there. I gotta put this away before I slip and fall. We believe this is the lower North Palisades. It's cool, see all that broken up ice? Now I'm gonna show you something really cool. Thawed ice, and check it out. I don't know if you can see it. There's like ice compacted on each other. I think the wind is blowing it all into each other, so it's all lining up there. And that one's way up. Pretty cool, huh? You don't see that every day, or at least in June. It's like June 2nd, and we're seeing this. This is just so much water, oh my gosh. Wow. I'm hoping we don't have to cross this down there somewhere. Because we're heading in the same direction. Oh my gosh. Look at those trees. Mountaintops, so beautiful. All right, it's another day. We're settling down. Tomorrow we are gonna go stage for Muir Pass. So today we took like a 12 mile day and we're right by Pinnacle 
Creek. I don't know if you call Pinnacle Lake was a beautiful lake with all the ice in it. And this is actually what comes off of it. It's pretty cool. And I thought I want to show you something else. I found this on my microspike the other day. A huge tear. And I went this morning at Mather Pass with it. And it was so hairy. <laughs> if, this if this ripped, I probably would have fallen off. Put myself pretty in. So anyway, I tied some bank line on it. Uh, attaching these chains. I'm hoping that's enough to hold it until I get to Mammoth. If this rips, well, it's at least relieving the pressure from this so it won't rip some more. But hopefully it'll hold. And interestingly enough, another rip. It's in the middle though. So I tied more bank line to it. So I'm hoping that'll hold it together. We should be in Mammoth in seven days. But I think there aren't any more super hairy 45 degree ice wall climbs coming up like today. So I should be able to survive even without this, hopefully. So I just hope this holds or I'm not uploading any more videos, right? <laughs> anyway, good night. Here's my tent for tonight. And there's sideways over there. And if we look over here, that's my ice axe, my beloved ice axe. This is Pinnacle Creek I was telling you about. Look at this guy. It is blowing, it's flowing so fast, it's so deep. And as you can see, it's so clear. We think it's about waist deep, but so much water is going through there. Quite amazing and it's so quiet right here it's noisy over there where it must drop off or something but look how clear that is it is ice cold from Pinnacle Lake it's beautiful isn't it and here's our little water supply go down there but this is camp for tonight it's pretty pretty nice huh look at that mountain back there if it ever, oh yeah, there it goes. Look at that guy feeding this river, or this creek, all melting in pretty well. It's another day, I believe it's day 74. Uh, I wrote it down yesterday, but I forgot. But I think it's Sunday. This is my bathroom view today. Well, I, for peeing anyway, and I love uh, that waterfall, snow up in the mountains. We're going to go up and stage near Muir Pass, so we're going to go maybe one and a half, maybe three miles away, and then go over tomorrow. So that's today. Look, we got a bridge. It's actually a really nice wooden bridge. Thank goodness there's a bridge, because look at this water. Look at that thing shooting straight up. It's a really nice bridge. All right. right in front of us. He's not scared of us at all. He was just he just kept eating after seeing us. It's got antlers though. He's walking away. He's staying on the trail though. Oops. We're about 835.6 that's our mile point. We actually wanted to go 0.9 more miles to a camp that's a little closer to Muir Pass but the snow is so slushy it's 2 230 maybe right now that uh, we just couldn't walk it. I mean, I can only swear so much in a day, after all. <laughs> it was just crazy. But we went back down and we found this spot and it's not a bad spot. I got the views back there, oh, past this tree, I guess. It's quite amazing. And then over here we got more mountains. But we're gonna settle here for tonight. It's 2.30, we're gonna go to sleep around five again so we can wake up and start hiking by three. 
just so uh, that everything's frozen. So hopefully tonight it'll be cold enough again that everything's frozen. We're about 10,700 feet, so we're pretty high. Hopefully that's it, and then we only have about 1,200 feet to climb tomorrow before we go over Muir, and then we go down like crazy, and then hopefully Selden doesn't have any snow on it. Hopefully. And then that's it. We're down that hill at the water source that I pointed out earlier. Look at that stream. I know it's not very deep, but it's crystal clear. It's all snow melt. And look at that sky and the clouds, beautiful mountains in the background. This is where our water comes from tonight. It's, man. To think, just earlier we were cursing the snow, but look at that, look how beautiful it is. Uh, we just hope it freezes overnight. Look at that water. Another new day, we're heading towards Muir Pass. We hope it's somewhere up there, about a mile away. And this is Helen Lake, named after Helen Funk, one of his daughters, John Muir's daughters. It's beautiful, it's big. And Gut Hooks has the wrong thing labeled as Helen Lake. But here, it's, it's all good. texture on the snow. See the lines? I don't know if it's on the wind or the sun. It's all over. It's pretty cool. I gotta keep going though. We gotta get out there before the snow gets soft. And it's a steep climb. But the hut should be right up there. Woo! I took my super climb juice so maybe I won't go so slow. Very sideways and cheap sunglasses. Check it away. There's the hut right up there. It was a beautiful approach though. Eh? I really liked it. I mean, it was tough, but it was beautiful. It was tough. With yeah. the going up I think the na down. Navigation was the hardest part. Yeah. Once you figure out where we're going, but I two like more people approach. way down there. Yeah. I like this approach best of all the four we've done so far. Because it's not as life threatening? No, because <laughs> I, it's beautiful. It's <laughs> and there's the hut. the approach. Damn. Look at all that snow up there. And a hut. And then we have to go back down. It's a lake. It's just beautiful. 
360 views. Oh my gosh. This is Muir Pass. The shelter, there's three people sleeping in there. It is a cool looking hut, all right. That took a lot of work. Getting rocks cut flat, leveled out. And the snow here is still very deep. As you can see here, that's the way down. The sun's been up for over an hour and it's pretty strong already. So I'm gonna try to get going before everything melts. I hope we get going before everything melts here. There's Wanda Lake straight ahead. And the trail goes just the right of it. There's just snow everywhere. I don't know how far we have to go before we run out of snow. At some point it's gonna start melting and it's gonna be bad. So hopefully we get out of this. Maybe right over that right side be better we'll see sorry for the shaky camera but it's really uneven surface it's hard to walk steadily she just post hold up to mid thigh and she's getting out unfortunately the snow is pretty tough there so let's see if she can get all the way over without post holding again can she do it I couldn't do it from that distance Oh, now that I pull out the camera, you don't post hole? Oh man, I'm, not, I'm never gonna get a viral video. In this field of snow, the game is to step on previous steps because they're a little more solid from the weight packing down the snow. Of course, that's not a guarantee that you're not gonna shoot through like that. My hat's shaking. Because I'm slipping. And standing on previous steps is no guarantee. It's uh, fortunately it's only like mid thigh deep when you go in. Yeah, little ice bridge type. See those foot post holes. There goes sideways. It's tough. You got to back up because you can't go forward because you hyperextend your knee. And sometimes you just gotta put your trekking pole down and use your hands. <sighs> Cause bigger surface. <sighs> yeah, you have to back up. Get that foot out, it's hard. Yeah. Oh, you went into water. It is tough work. We gotta go way over there. Now I hope I don't fall into that kind of depth. <sighs> oh. There's creeks under here now and there, and like she found out. Oh, let's see. oh yeah, here's the footprints. We're gonna get back to the footprints. All right, not so bad. A little better. Everyone's moving along quickly, so the footprints are good. There's Evolution Creek to the right of us. Here comes the Evolution Creek crossing. We knew it was coming and we knew it was gonna be big. But look at that. Here he is to scale. This is probably the widest one yet. I mean, not too dangerous because it's not fast, but it is far out there. We gotta go. But hey, what the hey? We actually got out of here at a pretty good time. Like the ice is partially melted. So it's not just all white or just all blue. You get all the different texture. It's pretty beautiful out here. And this is Evolution Lake, by the way. Boulder. And more. And Weir Pass is way over there somewhere.
I wash my pants and now I'm hanging it up on this branch. I found it laying on the ground with a nice curve on it. And I thought if I put this rock there and put this rock there, it would be a perfect spot to hang my clothes. And it's working fantastic. It's mostly clean. Mostly. Yep, I ripped another hole in my mesh in my tent again. Time to fix it. Cuban fiber tape. Scissors. I just use this and put it on both sides of the mesh. It's good enough.